morning, we're hearing from Coach Sarkeesian's wife, L'Oreal. She sat down with KVU's Emily John Greco and is sharing her goals for our community and the UT team. Well, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to sit down with me. Thank you for having me. I'm really honored. Thank I'm you. honored for you to be <laughs> sitting here right now. So tell me, how are you liking Austin so far? Austin has been fantastic. I have been to Austin several times because of track. So I knew a little bit about the city, but not a lot. You know, track, hotel, restaurant, that's it. But um, since we've gotten here, everyone has been fantastic. Seriously, um, we are really honored and blessed to be here. But apart from that, too, I mean, the warm welcome we have received has been over the top. You were a track star. How did you get into that? My mom was a track, a track star. Um, <laughs> she ran and she was my coach until I went to college. What type of impact would you like to leave on Austin? Being able to provide resources to um, women and children who may need that help, whatever that looks like, as well as obviously the UT community. And you know, being, being a coach's wife or just, and now a head coach's wife, I have so many sons. I want to be able to help young men or men grow into better men, uh, as well as be a part of like alumni community and donors and you know, just being accessible to help with whatever needs to be helped to uh, for us to be as successful as we can on and off the field. Well, what is it like being a coach's wife? Well, do you have like a ritual on game day or what do you do? Um, I don't, but my family will tell you about two hours before the game, you, you need to be tidying up whatever you have going on because in 30 minutes, I am leaving the house with or without you. I need to be the last person getting dressed or that we are waiting on. I will leave you because I'm going to be in my seat by a certain time because I, I already have to go on the field, you know, do our thing and then make my way back to my seat. You can be with me or you can get left. <laughs> That's the only thing I require. After that, like whatever you do in the morning, if it's an a, a evening game, whatever you do, you know, during the day, that, that doesn't bother me because I'll probably just be watching like Sports Center or something anyway. But no, like superstitions or anything. No, you got it. Okay, okay. No, no, no. I, you know, I think part of that is having been an athlete, having been a coach. I realized there is nothing that I can do. <laughs> there is nothing that I can do that's going to help those guys get it done. We just better hope we have. I love L'Oreal's jacket. It's gorgeous. Thanks for that interview, Emily. And tomorrow on Daybreak, we're going to air part two of Emily's conversation with L'Oreal.